it's a very meditative process when I'm working on the doodles um, because I'm never really thinking about the doodles. Like I don't see this in my head when I draw it. I just kind of, um, I just move my hand and I'm, I'm just thinking about like completely different stuff, you know, like I'll be thinking about memories from when I was a kid or, or like trying to work out what the next project's going to be, but I'm never really thinking about, I'm going to draw an alien, now a robot, now a fish, and I never have it mapped out in my head because it's, it's all coming from like the, the back of my head, like in the subconscious, and I don't really know what's there. It's just kind of flowing out, and I'm the audience for it when it happens as much as anyone else's, so I just kind of watch it and, and entertained by it, and I just kind of lose myself, forget where I am, forget like what time of day it is, and just uh, enjoy being in that kind of flow state. Sometimes I do make a mistake, um, I kind of like a, a line will bump into another line a bit too much and I have to kind of just touch it up a little bit with the pen. Everything can kind of be slightly fixed or altered. Um, sometimes there'll be like drips and things but I don't really see them as mistakes, they're kind of just part of the uh, process really. Um, but yeah, most of the time uh, the pen's quite forgiving and Doodle Land as a place is quite forgiving and you can kind of turn things into other things so if one character has like three arms it doesn't look wrong because of this kind of nature of the work really. I've always loved to doodle since I was a little kid so I loved video games and cartoons and I just was inspired by all the characters really and I used to kind of create my own based on those characters um, and I love to doodle over my bedroom walls and my parents' furniture um, and they kind of encouraged me. Most of the time I got encouraged to doodle except for when I was doodling on things that I probably wasn't supposed to like um, you know, street signs or things like that. Um, so I've always loved it and it's always been a real passion of mine and felt very uh, instinctive and kind of natural to gravitate towards. I think there's uh, a lot of people in the art world that um, don't like this kind of thing, like doodles and things, and there's like strict things in their head that they think art should be, or there should be like some form of concept or message or, or something heavy or deep about an artwork, and I don't really see it that way, and I think there's a lot of people out there who also feel that way, who are also in the art world. So I think for some people they accept it, other people don't so much. Jelajahi cara baru mendapatkan informasi. Download Metro TV Extend sekarang.